Good afternoon, Your Highnesses, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It is with enormous honor and anticipation I stand here uh, in front of you at the intersection of technology, innovation, and future. A future that is being built, accelerated by artificial intelligence. I want to introduce Jonathan. Jonathan will give you an idea about the collaboration that we're doing. And at the end of the discussion, I want to show you a real-time demo. Hi, Saudi Arabia. Well, um, there's plentiful energy reserves. It's in the nexus of about 4 billion people and there's a great business climate here, but also the vision and ambition. I'm wearing the Vision 2030 pin, and, and I really think this is the place to serve the compute needs for about half of the planet. Very good. I thought maybe we'd do one last thing. Can we show a demo? Yeah. Let's, why don't we show a demo and, and ask the voice assistant and see what excited all of us at Aramco Digital around ultra low latency response to voice. All right. Jonathan, how can I help? Yes, um, I'm here with my friend Tariq. Can you uh, let him ask you a couple of questions? Of course. I'm happy to answer any questions Tariq might have. Can you tell me more about Vision 2030? What's the ambition? What's the objectives? Sure thing, Tariq. Vision 2030 is the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's ambitious plan to build a progressive future for the country. It's based on three main pillars. Well, that's of great, but does AI has anything to do with this? Society, a thriving Absolutely, AI has a significant role to play in achieving Vision 2030. With AI acceleration... Well, very good. Does AI need access to compute and infrastructure? Can enable more interactive and seamless... Ex yes, indeed. AI needs powerful computational resources and robust infrastructure to function. Great, thank you. So this is Jonathan again. Uh, I have a question. What are the strategic advantages of serving the world's AI compute out of the kingdom? The kingdom of Saudi Arabia has several strategic advantages when it comes to serving the world's AI compute needs one. Geographic location, the kingdom is strategically located at the crossroads of three continents, Africa, yeah. Asia, and Europe. This position enables it to provide low latency services to a significant portion of the world's population. Two, abundant energy resources. The kingdom boasts abundant energy resources, which can be used to power AI computational needs. This can result in cost-effective and eco-friendly energy solutions for global AI infrastructure. Three, investment capabilities. The kingdom has substantial investment capabilities. Okay, those are all great. I'm going to ask you one last thing. Can you compose a poem about Vision 2030 in the style of Robert Frost? In the land where sun meets the sand, a kingdom's vision takes a stand. Three pillars strong for all to see, a vital society, a thriving economy, a vital society the first to rise with education, health, and joyous skies, a nation strong that cares for all, where families flourish, one and all. The second pillar, an economy- Amazing. Okay. All right, so, thank you very so think, much. Think about what you just saw today. Uh, with this level of latency, we're serving this from a data center today located in the west coast of the United States. You could imagine now when this gets served in the data centers within the kingdom by the end of the year. 20 to 40 percent of broad global traffic will be rerouted here. This is a really big accomplishment. We are really, really excited about unlocking the value for this. Thank you very much.